podcast. My name is DK Diamantes. His name is Bricky. I'm about to get the quote wrong. But before I do, if you enjoyed today's episode and maybe you want to support the podcast, head over to patreon.com slash adeptus ridiculous where you can get access to the Discord, bloopers if they happen, $15 tier, bam, posters, galore, HD digital format, pristine, DB Cooper, buy it, bricky stuff and things. Actually, I think we have a shy thing, right? Uh... Oh, yeah, we do. Shy wants to do a thing. Roll the clip. Dear friend, I regret to inform you that your uncle has passed away. As his only living relative, you have inherited his property including the Serpent's Brew Coffee Shop in Augury Point. It's a charming little town, with friendly faces all around and a strong sense of community. But beneath the surface of the rustic charm, there's so much more to discover. The locals are friendly and welcoming. I'm sure you'll feel right at home. You'll find yourself enchanted by the town's quaint charm obsessed, consumed by it. Tragedy calls you here, but you must get through this darkness into the crimson light beyond and realize that your inheritance is more than just a simple coffee shop. It is your destiny that awaits you here, beneath the slopes of Mount Omen, in the little friendly town of Augury Point. Wow! Amazing! Amazing! See, Shai, I pay attention. I care. I Shai, care. Shai, Shai currently, Shai currently is uh, is uh, disintegrated and is is currently yeah. dead because her boiler exploded. So oh, yeah. uh, she's currently a, a red stain on a wall. But um, yeah. but goddamn, does that does that game trailer look good? It looks really good. I, I I've seen a few clippies of it. It's you know you know. Yep, 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 yep. Augury Point. What, can you wish list it on? I would assume you can wish list it on Steam. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Do it. Mm-hmm. Do it. Indeed. Do it. Buy some merch. Wish list some games. Hell yeah, brother. Uh, so, you ready for your quote? No. No, I'm not, but yeah. whatever. Let me let me I... go ahead and embarrass myself. Yeah, I know. Yeah. 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 All right. <clears throat> This is the sword of the Emperor, the great foe of chaos. It has laid low thousands of your kind. You shall be but in addition to the tally. Said by Lord Commander Robute Gilliman to the demon Quaramar. Hmm. Um so it so that that quote's just about the, the, the sword that he was gifted by the Emperor and he's gonna kill some chaos stuff? That's what the quote says. That doesn't seem like I should anything I should like. It seems like everything has been said. I don't I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to guess here. Well, then what do you think the episode's about? Rabute Gilliman being a boring dork. Is that your final answer? I guess. Oh. I you know, if I told you the episode was like about the sword of the emperor, would you feel stupid? Yep. Well, yeah, yeah, uh, I sure my, would. My, fr- my friend, uh, I hope you're sitting down because... Uh, no, 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 stop, 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 stop. You haven't said anything yet. My guess is this is an episode on the Sword of the Emperor. I'm sorry, sir, you already gave your final no, 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 answer. No, no, I didn't. I never confirmed that. I, I said did? maybe. You said yes. No, I didn't. I said I might guess that. I Maybe. I never locked it in. Sword of the Emperor. I'm right. Hooray. Wow. Big dub, DK. 
Put it in the live chat if you're listening to the premiere. Big Dubs DK, that's what they call me. Oh, actually, the B- episode's about B- Roberta Gilliman. Big, big D... Wait. Nope, that's not the right abbreviation. Big oh, D. Well. <laughs> no, no. I, I, okay, so we're half right. So okay, so you know, you know, I was trying to. I mean, I won't lie. I was trying to trick you. I was. I was. And doing, you oh, did, you son I, of. A- I did. I did. Because here's here's the thing, right? Not fair. You're like, all right, you, you do. This is the sword of the emperor, and then you're like, there's no way the episode is just the sword of the emperor. That's stupid. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly what I thought. Yeah, uh, but it, the the episode is actually kind of about that. Um. We're talking about the Emperor's lost weapons and gear, the old stuff from oh. Big E himself. Because do you remember what what uh, what GW may? I don't remember if actually GW said it or if it, they alluded to it or whatever it is um, about the returning Primarchs. Um. Nope. Um, other than at some point, all I know is like people keep saying, oh yeah, it's, they said at some point every Primarch is coming back. Wow. How is Sanguinius and Ferris Man is going to come back when they shouldn't? Okay. Maybe. Okay. The, there is that part and that we will get to that. Okay. Um, but I believe there was either there was a statement or maybe I'm Mandelaing it really hard right now. That all of the returning Primarchs, at least on the Loyalist side, will have some piece of the Emperor's gear originally oh, with them. I, I feel like you did mention this at some point. This sounds I, familiar. I don't I know think- if it's actually true. Like, I don't know if Games Workshop actually said that or if maybe people theorized it so much that it became mandela into my brain and now I think it's real. Ooh, so if every Primarch comes back and they all have a piece of the Emperor, are they going to revive Big E? Please don't revive Big E, GW. Please don't. Well, it'd be kind of funny because they, they revive Big E and he has like no gear. I mean, he's just like naked. <laughs> that um, would be funny. Bi- Although I, mean, I guess he's kind of sort of like uh, inhabiting Robute Gilliman at points, right? So that kind of goes along with a little bit of the stuff that the Emperor has. I mean, the Emperor should never, ever, 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 ever be revived because that kind of destroys the entire point of 40k lore and the entire idea of this martyred character that is made the Imperium to this xenophobic, awful regime. Mm -hmm. He he would light the Imperium up. Like, if Big E was revived, he would light Terra up himself. He would burn Terra to the ground himself so he could start all over again because whoopsies... I did a big gee I mean, he wouldn't because then humanity would just die. But he would definitely like, you know, he he wouldn't be. He's not the most stoked currently. No, he's not yeah. happy. He would go scorched earth. Literally. I, I, I don't know. I mean, Gilliman wanted to do that. But Gilliman realized the in, importance of a functioning regime is <laughs> sometimes better than a than a, a functioning nice regime. True, but Big E is quite a few steps above Robute. Robute Gilliman only did it because he couldn't. I mean, Big E is kind of like, you know, he's not mid-E. He's Big E. He is Big E. Well, currently he's skinny E. Um, <laughs> well, he's currently no skin E. That too. He's currently quite skinny. Yeah, <laughs> being that he has uh, just bones. But he's also... I don't know. I mean, he like got he got hurt really bad in that fight with Drachnian back in uh, in like Master Man. Well, okay, Biggie is written like like so Space bizarre. Marines. Yeah, like completely inconsistently all the time. Depends so on the author. Sometimes he he can like full throttle one hit KO a Chaos God. Other times, Drachnir whatever gives him problems. It, yeah, yeah, it's, it's hard it's to trust wild. the book scaling. But regardless, I'm I am very much hoping that Biggie never ever comes back alive, and, and he will maybe occasionally do weird shenanigans with the psychic stuff and talk to people like in Lion Son of the Forest. Mm-hmm. Um, but besides that, you know, I want him being on that throne is kind of the whole setting, and mm-hmm. so we should keep it. Yeah, that said, definitely. there was the possibility that all of the returning Primarchs, because they said that they do want to bring back all the Primarchs, will have. One of Big E's fancy pantsy artifice, one okay. of his fancy uh, tools of some sort. Oh, and so 
I thought we we kind of kind of like go. Th- it, it's a bit of a theory crafting video. It's a bit oh. of like a what are, what do we think is gonna happen? You know? Okay, okay. Like what what pieces of uh, uh, of Big E are they gonna bring back with him? And to which Primark? Um, but uh, so currently, of course, on the loyalist side, we have two returning Primarchs. We have Bobby G himself, and Ooh. we have he's fine. Shut up. And yeah, we have Lionel Johnson. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Woo, woo, woo. Wait, no, he's not. He's not a space wolf. Sorry. No, he's not a space wolf. But he's very um, cool, and the book is great. It is. And so we have so far two of the Emperor's items have returned to us. Uh, we have the Emperor's sword named the Emperor's sword. Clever. Uh, I know. And we also have the Emperor's shield. Um, the Emperor's shield is a funny, a funny item. Because it kind of continues with the whole concept of nobody knows how to properly scale the emperor for size and what the <laughs> hell he is. Because, All right. I mean, you know, that's Lionel Johnson. Huge guy. Primark. Huge, yeah. Shield there. I mean, you know, chunky shield. Pretty big, right? Yeah, but not what you'd expect Big E to have. You'd expect Big E to have like a tower shield. Right, right. So, um, can you find the Emperor's shield in this photo? Uh, uh, nope. Look harder. Wait. Um, wait, hold on. Let me let me let me open it in the browser and get a full. Um. Oh my God! Is it his pauldron? <laughs> no the, way! The tilt that shield. That little itty bitty thing. <laughs> yeah. What? It's called it's called a tilt shield. Yes, sir. That's supposedly what Lionel <laughs> I, Johnson has. I, I know, like you're you're looking at the lion and you're like comparing him holding the shield with Big E right there, and he's like the size of his like thigh. <laughs> it's wow! No, Lionel's not even the. He's like the size of maybe his shoulder. So maybe. So let's. So in classic 40k world. We have to assume that because because this artwork is from like John Blanche, I, I'm pretty sure from like great art. I was though, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like the most iconic 40k artwork. There, it probably came out before I was born. Things were a little different at the time, <laughs> yeah. you know. Um, I gotta give him a little bit of a benefit of the doubt. And by that scale, uh, Bobby G's sword should be a lot bigger. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, it should be it bigger should. than him. It should be like Buster Sword, Berserk, uh, Dragon Slayer size by comparison. Right. So Sheesh. like you, you look at that and then and then you kinda you kinda see um you know, uh, you kinda you kinda see a little bit of the scaling problem we have here. Um, a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> There's also, but there's also like other artwork. Like here's the a really famous one with the emperor and his custodies, and he's just like slightly larger than the custodies, and the tilt shield is a lot is actually like too small in this situation. Yeah. Also, so, he looks creepy in that picture. Like he looks like undead Jesus in that picture. I mean, like, I feel like that's kind of his vibe, isn't it? He, I I I guess, but I don't know. That one creeps me out. Like he looks haunted. Yeah, it's it's just some weird stuff. I guess anyway, he does kind of have a crown of thorns, doesn't he? Anyway, point being, we shouldn't take it too particularly seriously. Um, yeah. The Emperor probably could have just turned it into a normal shield through warp shenanigans because Lion was going through the forest and all that kind of jazz <laughs> and weirdness. Sure. Tilt, sure. tilt, shields are, tilt shields are a common thing. Like these knights, you'll see the tilt shield is the little pauldron shield on like the chest. Yeah, it's, is that uh, literally just for decoration? Because obviously, like, it's not going to give you any sort of protection, is it? I thought a tilt shield was more accurately like. I, I think it's mostly um, it's mostly a decor decor or a decorative. Yeah, uh, it looks I like thought... it's just to display like what house you are, what honors you have, and stuff like that. Not real because like you've already got armor underneath that. So I th- I feel like a tilt. Uh, no, I'm probably just being stupid. I now, if it was, maybe, like, over, like, your heart, and it's like, oh, well, there's some extra protection for, you know, vital organs, maybe. But it's like, when it's over on the shoulder like that, it's like, eh, that's gotta be just, like, house heraldry. I, I, I'm, it's mostly house heraldry for the knights. Hmm. Um, like, I imagine it was, uh, oh, wait, wait, hold on, I just scroll, I just scrolled this through. 
Um, this is called a tilting shield. It was originally used in <laughs> jousting to deflect the incoming lance off to the side. Oh, and then and then every and then everyone then you wouldn't else get a clean strike. Oh, but then okay. but then literally everyone else here says that it's just for decoration. But I can't tell if they're referring to the 40k version of it or a real life version of it. But I am seeing old school armor that does have this. It doesn't look like that. It's a bit more like blending into the armor. Yeah. Um, but I'm like like here. Here's a for example. Here's a piece of armor. Uh, like there's like a tilt shield there. They, the the yeah. lance might like go bling, you know. The only reason it suddenly made sense to me is because I thought of the movie A Knight's Tale, where it's all about that uh, the the peasant that be- rises up and becomes a, a a jousting champion, and they had those really big, um, well, tilt shields, I suppose. And yeah, you don't want you don't want to let them get a clean hit, so it just kind of deflects off your shoulder. Is A Knight's Tale the Matt Damon and uh, um, Matt uh, Adam Driver one? No, it's the um, Heath Ledger one. Oh darn! I don't think I've seen with that. all the rock music in it. Um, well, they didn't have rock back then. Well, but no. um, but but, wow, but anyway, really? no, they had rocks. Throw them all the time. Oh, you that was good. All right, plus two. Get shit, um, on, loser. But anyway, <laughs> so so currently the ones that we have out and about are the Emperor's Shield and the Emperor's Sword. Uh, the Emperor's Shield doesn't have, like, a ton of lore at the moment. It's just his tilt shield. But for the most part, as we saw in the Arcs of Omen books, like, the Lion is able to kind of use the the blast that he blocks with the shield to kind of blow bl- uh, blow back at the opponent. Mm-hmm. Um, so, like, like Angron would smash the shield, and then it would kind of, like, discharge back outwards, you know? Which is so it's- you're pretty poggers, especially if you're fighting someone like Angron. Especially if you're fighting someone like Angron who just doesn't yeah. want to stop attacking. Nope. <laughs> um, and like in game, for example, it would, but well, back in the day, it would make it harder to hurt the, the lion. But now, basically, mm. when you save uh, some saves, if you roll like sixes, it does damage back. So it's kind of fun. You know, that's yeah. a neat, yeah. neat concept. All right. um, the Emperor's sword is a gigantic flame sword uh, that is not real fire, by the way. Um, that is psychic fire, basically. Ah, um, the it is supposed to contain a like either like a fragment of the emperor's soul or something about him in the sword. So that the idea is that it's not just like a good sword that can be lit with psychic fire, but it is a true death for demons. You kill a demon with the sword, oh, and, and they actually, don't go back to the warp. They don't revive. They just. Pff. Yeah, it, it's a straight up like it does it does what it did to Horus back then. Like it, you are gone, gone. Oh, okay. So very potent sword that all of chaos should be afraid of. Chaos is is genuinely terrified of this sword. It, it is because it, it's you know because chaos doesn't care. They're like oh whatever, I'll just come back like a demon. But when they mm-hmm. see this, it's like oh god, oh god, that's uh, real death. Like that's yeah. I better be sure I can kill him because yeesh. You are not standing up from that. Nope, you're um, not coming back from that one. A, Gilliman has said that sometimes he feels like the Big E's presence whenever he holds the sword, which is probably why maybe he was, like, taken over that one time. Because mm-hmm. he can kind of, like, there's a little bit of, of Big E there still. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, you know, for the most part, not to go too deep into it, it's a gigantic flaming sword that true deaths demons. And that's yeah, awesome. It, naturally, like, if, if it has part of Big E in it, it should be just an absolute demon killer. So, right. Makes sense. Makes sense. So there's also something that they call the one true armor. Uh, the one true armor <laughs> is just Biggie's armor. It's his full armor, you know, I guess outside the tilt shield for the most part. <laughs> um, who can wear that big set of armor, right? Yeah. It's just the, the idea that, like, <laughs> just looking at the scale ratio of that image in the lion is so funny. Like, you'd almost have to Voltron all the Primarchs together to actually wear that. <laughs> The, the um uh, the lion is like the size of of like the piggy's head. It's yeah. so ridiculous. If someone could actually draw all of the Primarchs Voltron together, that would be great. By the way, I don't know to fit them in different parts of the Emperor's armor. Yeah, yeah, all form the head, and it's just lion just clunk. Um, but anyway, the, this might surprise you, but the big piggy's armor itself has actually been ground down and melted. Uh, by huh. the uh, it's order to create badges of honor. Uh, these are called uh, crux terminatus. These are actually fancy badges that are worn on the sides of Terminator armor. Um, and for the most part, it's on the, like the left shoulder. 
This mm-hmm. is supposed to have like little fragments of the of Biggie's armor as part of it, and it, it's mainly meant to be a uh, it is a symbolic thing because you know 40k has gotten a bit uh, a bit stoked with worshiping the emperor, and so you know <laughs> it's, just, it's just a little bit. That's got to be like the highest honor you can get, though, because that's a piece of Big E. Like there is a finite amount of art, although with how big he is, one of his gauntlets could probably decorate a planet. Um, but still, that's got to be like the highest honor you could wear on yourself. The the having it on like Terminator captains and stuff like that. I mean, <sighs> being a Terminator captain is kind of a huge deal. That's a big deal, yeah. Yeah, like you know, you're you're pretty high up in the ranks of your Space Marine chapter with that. But it's also why they're so frightened to lose Terminator armor. Um, just also you're losing not, a piece of Big E. You're losing a piece of the Emperor, and you're like you're actually failing the Emperor, which yeah. is why Terminators are uh, despite. By being able to run so many of them the tabletop, they're not a particularly <laughs> like common thing. They're pretty insane. Mm-hmm. I'm um, kind of shocked that they melt down any of Biggie's armor. You'd think they would want to keep that in almost as pristine a fashion as they possibly could, and like literally have servitors like polishing it and keeping it in pristine condition at all times. Because God save the Emperor, he is the one true God, or something. So I I think the same thing, but like I, I don't know. Like maybe I'm I'm splitting hairs a little bit. But imagine if like Taylor Swift took a lock of her hair and just chucked it in the crowd. Like there will be no reverence. There will be blood. I like how the 2024 pilled notion is like. Oh yes, entire swaths of humanity worshiping Biggie as a god is comparable in our world as. What if you got a lock of hair from Taylor Swift? I mean more in the sense of like there is yeah. no rev- there's no reverence, there's no protection. Yeah. Everyone needs a piece. Everyone wants a bit of it, you know? What, you mean Taylor Swift's hair won't grant me godhood? Well, I mean, have you ever owned any of Taylor Swift's hair? No, I haven't. Well, then you don't know. Oh, that's true. Mhm. Mm-hmm. Well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Got to yeah. call Travis Kelsey and figure it out. Is that the football player? Yeah, it's the football player. Okay. I love that image of him yelling at the coach. (laughs) He almost knocked him over. Like, he pushed him, too. Like, he almost tumbled like a ton of bricks. Because Travis Kelsey's not a small man. You don't get to do that, though. Like, you don't get to yell at the coach like that. What the hell? Well, when you are one of the star players that helps bring, like, three Super Bowls to the city, you get a little leeway. Yeah. You get a little leeway. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, this is not a football podcast. No, but we are spiking it soon. Hey! Da, da, hey! <laughs> All right, so anyway, here are the other... Uh, so there, for the most part, that we are... Well, that I'm aware of, that have articles, and that I remember so far in the lore, there are four other major bits and pieces that are involving the Emperor's war gear. Um, we have the Emperor's claw, bolter, uh, spear, Spear and the spear of Russ. Um, well, Wait, yeah, I guess the spear I guess of two Russ spears. and his he has two different spears. Okay, so there's the the Apollonian spear and the spear of Russ. Um, the Apollonian spear is was made at the same time as the Dionysian spear. Dionysian spear is the spear of Russ. There's two spears. Val, okay. Constantine Valdor wields the Apollonian spear. Okay. You know who Valdor is, right? Uh, well, like, w- w- I'm, I'm still trying to wrap my head around why there are two spears to be, like, w- was he just dual-wielding spears, bolters, and he just had two spears on his back, shooting people, people come up to him, and then he just starts dual-wielding them, or, no, and, and then no. one was given to Russ, and one was given to Valdor, like, what, I, I'm, 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 I'm a little twisty-turny, what? No, sir, no, it, it's, there, there, he made, he made the Apollonian spear, along... <sighs> With the Dionysian spear. These are two spears the Emperor made. He did not, like, use. Oh, okay. But they're important parts of the Emperor's, like, you know, like, the things he made. Like, you have a piece of the Emperor when he come back. Okay. See, I I, I, I thought this was all, like, oh, this is the Emperor's... Ge- okay, so he just made this... Okay, gotcha. All right, cool. Dual-wielding spears is cool, though, all right? You can't tell me it wouldn't be cool to see Big E just, like, spinning these spears around and just javelining demons out of the sky. I'm pretty goddamn sure Argel Tall did literally that. And we love Argel Tall, don't we? 
We, uh, you know, you know how how they say, they say, uh, you know, when you start playing Warhammer, you're like, ha ha ha, fuck Erebus, and then when you yeah. get really into Warhammer, you're like, bro, fuck Erebus, fuck Erebus. Aren't you tall? Deserves so much better. What the, f- what the fuck? What the fuck? What? I love anyway, Argel sorry. so much. Yeah. Anyway, still anyway. makes me so mad. It, 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 it's it's a sad day, but uh, anywho, um, all that aside, uh, yes. So there's a, the other two spears: the Apollodian spear and then the Dionysian spear, the spear of rust, the Emperor's bolt, and the Emperor's lightning claw. So hmm. the spear of rust. Do you remember the spear of rust from the Lehman Rust episode? Got to be honest, I do not. I just remember where he outdrank and outate the emperor, which is the best the thing cool to stuff. remember, and that's oh, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> woof, woof, woof. so the spear of Russ is in fact the spear that uh, <clears throat> is. Did you remember the part where like when you stab someone with the spear, it, like reveals their truth and everything? And he tried to fight Horus and stab him to like pull out the real like knowledge and make sure and like fix him. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. His pull out game was strong. Man couldn't pull out of a driveway. <laughs> See how many sons Lehman Russ has? <laughs> That's true. That's true. Yeah, I guess, yeah, 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 fair enough. All right. So it's the, the Dionysian sphere. We call it Dionysian sphere because, you know, space wolf, et cetera. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, or the wolf spear, spear of Russ, you know, wielded by Lehman Russ. I, I think this is a shoe in Clearly, Lehman Russ, whenever he comes back, is going to be rolling with this the spear. I don't know, man. I don't know. Are you sure the spear of Russ is going to be wielded by Russ? I think I think the Khan is going to have it, clearly, because it just seems so much more fitting that the Khan have the spear of Russ, right? I mean, Well, what a so- wonderful question. What kind of thing do we think the Khan will have if we're going to be dicks about it? Honestly, I could see the Khan have... Because you said there's a... He has a... Claw? Does he have like a like a power fist or a claw or something like that? He he has he has lightning claws. Yes, I could see Khan getting that. I Why could see Khan think- with a fist just because like he's like he's fast. He does a lot of up close combat and boom 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 claws him and you know white scar. Mm? Why do you think that he would get the claw though? So okay, so so here here are the primarchs that, that we need to return. Right, we've got we got Russ. Which is clearly going to be Spear of Russ. That that yeah. one that was a shoe in uh-huh. makes sense thematically, et cetera, et cetera. All good. Uh-huh, uh-huh, so we've uh-huh. got we got Dorn. Uh, uh-huh. We've got the Khan. We've got Vulcan. We've got Korax. Ooh. And I, I think I'm missing someone, and I feel bad about missing them because. So so I, I'm I'm going to skip Ferris, Manus, and Sanguinius. I'm going to oh, yeah, skip yeah, them. Yeah, fair enough. I, I I don't think I don't think it's it's fair. Uh, you know, it's not Ferris. <laughs> I can't stand you. Uh, <laughs> the re- I it. live for those reactions. God oh, damn you! What I a hate beautiful you. day. What Ferris a beautiful and, day. Ferris and Sanguinius are gone. We have the lion and and Robute are back. So yeah, it's Khan, Russ, Dorn, Vulcan. Yeah, and Korax. Okay, I'm done. Yeah, okay. I I guess it would make more sense for Korax to get the claws, it, huh? It would. I I feel like. You know, you can think of it that way. If Korax is his weird, uh, mutated demon version bird, you, you think that he could just wear the Emperor's claw like like normally, like it's it's normal size for him now because he's all giant and freaky. I mean, well, I mean, they're they're probably gonna scale the armor to the Primarch, right? In the same way that they like, you know, scale the sword and the shield. So, I mean, it's probably not gonna come back and be like this massive gauntleted claw, right? Well, I mean, who's to say it's not? I could totally see Korax being this demon bird, and one of his hands is this bright golden claw. That would be sick, actually. I hope that is what happens. Just this giant, crazy bird that has a golden talon. Oh. Oh. I I mean, that it is pretty neat. Though, we have another possibility. And it doesn't sound right, because... Okay, so... The Emperor actually had a bolter back in the day. There's, there's not not a lot of people know this, and it's kind of like a well, maybe it's not that people don't know it, but it's just like it's kind of a lower point. Um, back in the way old art of GW, what is that? <laughs> is that from like the 1800s? Actually, wow! <laughs> I wish I actually knew when when that artwork came out. Uh, I I only know when it was uploaded, but 
You know, this is shortly like, after the creation of ink. They made this. <laughs> so a lot of the old like um, techno barbarian artwork and like reforging Terra kind of stuff. The the um, the the unification wars all kind of have this old like John Blanche style artwork. Mm-hmm. It's all meant to look that way because like if you literally look up techno barbarian. Uh, in in 40k, you'll yeah you'll often get artwork like like this, very very much this old school kind of kind of I don't know it's, it's like almost like tapestry yeah like you'd find it in a history book yeah exactly so a lot of that stuff looks that way uh, but the emperor does have a bolter it is it is unnamed for the most part but it was basically the first bolter he made the first bolter it was black and bronze. Not a Dark Age technology relic. It is just the Emperor made himself like the first bolter. Hmm. Um, And, you know, it was just his weapon he used during the Unification Wars and all that jazz. So there is Is a bolter. Is there anything special about it? Or is it just literally the first bolter? And, hey, Big E used it, so it's more important than a regular bolter. There are about three sentences worth of lore on this bolter. So for the most (laughs) part, it's it's just Just it's a bolter. bolter. It's the first (laughs) bolter. Um, okay. Now, but I mean, if we're going to give a bolter to anybody, who do you think is going to get it? Um, Wait, who's left? Uh, Vulcan, Khan, Dorn, Korax, and uh, Russ. Uh, I, well, I, I, I guess Dorn? Uh, it's pretty Dorn coded. Yeah, it's yeah. a bolter. Imperial Fists love their bolters. Okay. Um, really? But, oh, wait, what? Do, you, do they, do you, do they do you learn love nothing? Their- it was a long time ago, all right? Do you I, learn I, nothing from look, me? I, I remembered the magic pain glove. Tell me what to do. Ah! You haven't even seen the 40K text-to-speech memes. You haven't even seen them, and you remember that? Ye- yes. Uh, this is this is yes. actually, yes, I actually I wild, yes, dude. Yes, I do. This is actually <laughs> wild. Yes, Siege, yes. Siege, fortify, like, Fists you know? love their bolters. It's a huge part of all their stuff is bolters. See, I, I was just testing you to see if you remembered that episode. I knew. That's I why st- I said Dorn should get the bolter, because it was so obvious. I will Hello? stab you with the Spear of Rust <laughs> so that I'll reveal your secrets of why you're a shitter. Hey, yeah, that, look, that 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 is a Pandora's box you do not want to open, all right? Yeah, I, I stab Why is GK as weird as he is? Don't open that box. That's a can of worms that you can't close. I stab you with the Emperor or with the Spear of Rust, and then like I'm like, oh, God, take it back. Yeah, yeah, you don't you don't want that. You don't want that evil, Ricky Bobby. Don't put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. Don't you put that evil on me. Uh, that's a, that's a reference I get. I, yeah, I love Talladega yeah. Nights. Ima- imagine suddenly Bricky starts reading manga and starts g- genuinely appreciating anime. Is, is that what's going to happen when I stab you with the spear of Russ? Yes. Yes. Oh, yep. Oh god. Yep. Well, uh, your goon so, time is gonna go through the roof. My goon time? Yeah, your your goon timer is gonna go through the roof, bro. Were you gooning or were you edging, Neiman? <laughs> and it, Who's it, to say it wasn't both? Yeah, you, uh, n- nah, never mind. Edging? Um, edging. Yeah, but when you goon and edge, it'd be like gedging. No, that doesn't gooning and edging. Googing. All right, you know what? Rogel Dorn can't goon anymore because he's missing his hand. Um, Ooh, but hey, hey, listen, some people can, you know, depends, you know, you can do a lot with a stump. Oh, I was going to, I thought you were going with the left hand concept, but that's fine too. Well, I guess you could, you know. Yeah, the mysterious stranger ability. Yeah, it's yeah, fine. Yeah. Hey, Anywho. there's there's one reason and one reason alone. I'm ambidextrous, man. Le- I'm, are you actually ambidextrous? No. It's oh, just God, a funny uh, name. God damn it. Okay. <laughs> All right. So Dorn, though. Dorn, most like Bolter. Kind of the fit for Dorn is the bolter, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Spear of Rust, we have that. The bolter for Dorn. Though granted, you could argue Lightning Claw because you put that on his stump and it's like in replacement. Yeah, of his he's arm. missing. Yeah, that actually that that would kind of fit, and it, it fits with all of fit. his gold and stuff too. So it would look right on Dorn because he's got all gold armor anyway. You give him a gold claw where his one missing hand is. That but, would be kind of sick. But Dorn is kind of like the the it, fists are a ranged army. They, they they shoot. They're shooting people. Mm. You know, it's like if we if we talk about um, like Percherabo, for example. If when he comes back, we're expecting him to be like a giant 
like obliterator, like with like a ton of missiles and, and yeah. guns on him and stuff. And chaos um, flesh popping out everywhere. Yeah. And yeah. I actually played a I played a, a game this weekend, uh, like an APOC game with some some buddies, and one of them who's a big fist fan was like, you know, I, I want Dorn to come back as like an open topped dreadnought. And open Ooh. top uh open top means in the for, in the the game is transport. And so he's imagining like Dorn as a giant dreadnought, but like all of his sons can like like as a transport can like get on top of him and like shoot down off of like rafters and stuff on this giant dreadnought Dorn thing. That would be cool. What's an APOC game? Oh, Ape Apoc Apocalypse. Um Oh, oh, that's like the one where like the points don't matter. Well, not that the points don't matter, but it's just like this massive, like, bring your titans, bring your knights, bring all the big stuff you can't normally run, right? Oh yeah, definitely. It's like uh okay. it, it's basically just like, hey, here's instead of two thousand points, it's like twenty. Ten thousand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gotcha. Um so yeah, he was thinking like open top dreadnought <laughs> Rogaldor, which is kind of awesome. <laughs> Uh, I mean, who better to have? Who better to turn himself into a shooting platform? I mean, Perturabo, but you know they're one and the same. But yeah, yeah, not, yeah. You know they hate, they'll yeah, hate yeah. me for saying that, but they're one and the same. <laughs> Boy, the comments are going to be so mad at you, dude. They're both. It's the yin and the yang. Yeah. Um, yep. But any, but anywho, the uh, the light yeah, and the shadow. The two of them is that a Korax with this claw seem, seems pretty right. I'd yeah. say. Um, and then the the Apollonian spear is is with Constantine Valdor right now, and I don't really think that spear should necessarily go to anyone else. It's made for a custodian. It's just kind of yeah, just his it's the thing. Custodian weapon, yeah, yep. Um, spear of Rust is probably a shoe in. <laughs> it should be, but knowing GW, they'll give the spear to Korax. They give the spear to Korax. They'll the give spear the of bolt- Rust to Korax. Yeah, they give the bolter to Lehman Russ, and then they'll give <laughs> yeah. like. I God knows. Well, we'll have Dorn dual wielding spears, and we'll just go off the rails. I mean, dual wielding Dorn spears would be kind of cool, but like you said, if they're all about bolters and long range, why in the world would you give him dual spears? I mean, you, you say it'll be really cool, but like, I, in just an ironic fashion, like anyone dual wielding spears would be cool. It's it's yeah. your dual wielding spears. You're, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Uh, there's a part of me that does hope that Dorn gets the 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 claw because god that'd be so cool if he if he came back with like an eye patch and a gold claw to to replace his his fist that was lost man that'd be really cool you you want that specifically because uh uh just because of the missing hand right and just like get a big yeah. spear or a big big claw for it i mean Oh hell yeah, that'd be so cool, and it would just—it'd be so fitting because it fits the gold armor, and you know, I have a piece of the emperor. And yet. The, the, the Dorn is has the gold claw, which is holding the spear of Russ while firing the <laughs> bolter in his other hand. <laughs> clearly, 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 yep. and, and, and then and then mm-hmm. the con comes back and gets nothing, nothing. Forget him. What Dorn took it all? Which he took so, all of it? <laughs> which speaking of, can you imagine if they just gave Dorn? All of it. Just every single one. All of them. Yep. He gets all of them. It's like, no, Dorn's coming back with everything. And then Rebuke Gilliman's just like, oh, please take the sword too. You look so incomplete without it. See, that there, that there is the other question though. We got two other folks. We got Vulcan and we got the Khan. So it's it's difficult to determine who's going to come back next because they've hinted on every single one of them. Yeah. Um, you know, the Khan coming back is Makes sense. Russ, Vulcan. Vulcan can come back whenever the hell he wants. He's, a, yeah, he's on his respawn timer. I can maybe see Korax coming back as an option because uh, Lorgar is out and about now. And with Vashtor being the new big bad, you know, you have oh, this yeah. chaos is a bit more of a thing. So, like, you know, Lorgar helps Vashtor out or something. And then Korax is like, I'm part of this now. Because mm-hmm, um, F Lorgar, because, of course, fuck Lorgar. What, what do we think Vulcan would get? Oof. I don't know why, but like it, Vulcan seems like he would be a good choice for a spear for some reason. And I'm not really sure why. Cause like I don't think like the salamanders really have any affinity with spears or anything, but I don't Wait. know. It just seems they do. Or do they? Yeah, well don't forget, they're like dragon slayers. Uh well As a, 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 I, a I, honest, honest to God, this, this today hurts me, DK. Like you, you're forgetting everything I've taught you, and it, it makes me <sighs> sad. 
But there's the, been do, do so you, much. Do you, do you remember the spear of Vulcan that Vulcan Histan, the the guy searching for stuff, carries? Oh no! It's like the it's like the fancy artifact that Trazen tried to steal from him. Oh boy! Oh boy! Um, indeed. Oh jeez! Check out this All image right. in chat. I'm sure you'd appreciate it. Wow! Look um, at that spear of Vulcan. <laughs> They're, they're, oh they're you know, they're, they're dragon slayers. Spears kind of go with that vibe, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. They sure, they sure do. They sure do. They sure do. They sure do. So the oh Spear boy. of Vulcan. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> the Spear of Vulcan is one of the nine artifacts of Vulcan. And remember, you're supposed Ugh. to find all nine artifacts. And when you do, Vulcan comes back. That's the concept. Uh, I, I remember that part. I didn't remember the. The spear part. Spear part. The, though, oh, I mean, he, I feel so Vul stupid. <laughs> Vulcan oh probably isn't going to use the spear of rust, though. Like, you know, that's what? fine. Really? <laughs> no, that, that's fine. It's GW, though. They might. Again, it's GW. They might. No, no, they, they might. Could, they couldn't. You couldn't they? I mean, they could, but like Bricky, it's <sighs> GW. Couldn't they? Couldn't it, they? They can't give the spear of rust to Vulcan. It's they they can't. <laughs> it is truly unfathomable, and yet. So okay, this is Vulcan as we remember. He has that baller hammer, hammer. He sure does. But the Emperor doesn't really have a hammer kind of thing. At least not that I'm aware of. Um, I do one, and this is a bit of a stretch. But like, do we think we could give him the Emperor's cape? Now it's a little strange. But the Emperor has hmm. that big red flowing cape, and, and Vulcan has, like, the cape of, of like, dragon scales. Mm -hmm. And I can kind of see it being like, oh, the I've used the dragon scale cape for such a long time, and, like, the Emperor's cape is forged <sighs> in the psychic energy, and it makes me tanky. I, I don't know. I just feel like he would look like he's way too Christmas-themed if he had a big bright red cape. <laughs> with the green armor <laughs> yeah he would look like a big old like elf or something like ah. yeah you're not entirely wrong on that but one, i gotta true. say like i don't want to see him using a spear because he is so hammer coated like him so losing him losing that hammer would be a travesty i feel like he kind of needs a piece of armor almost so I was thinking armor too, but the armor's mostly been ground up and melted to do into you know stuff but don't they have, guess, like, a pauldron left or something that they can just chuck on him? That's kind of what I was thinking, is, like, yeah. what if they just, they reforged? I mean, if, if anyone's going to forge a piece of armor from the Emperor's stuff, it would be Vulcan. Vulcan, he is, yeah. He's the blacksmith, like, that's he's his the whole forge. shtick. Yeah. Yeah, he's, yeah, they use the word forge in, like, all of his goddamn lore. Yeah, if he came back and he was like, "Hey, hey, everybody, out of the way! I'm going back. I'm, I'm, I'm going underground. I'm getting the Emperor's armor, or at least like what's left of his leg plate, and I'm gonna form some sick new pauldrons for myself." And if he came out with like these just brilliantly blinding gold pauldrons on that armor, it'd look right. It, it would look really good. Or um, if he forged a new hammer, maybe. I think his hammer's still chilling. For as far as I'm aware. Especially in that picture. God, that hammer looks so sick. The, the giant dragon's head thunder oh, hammer. I mean, yeah, like, that's come on. so sick. It's, and it's so cool. It's so Vulcan. Um, I, I do think that, like, because Vulcan is the biggest of the Primarchs. Like, you imagine <laughs> yeah. one of his, his shtick is to be tanky. Like, mm -hmm. okay, we got, like, so far we got Gilliman, who is, who is supposed to be the major tactician. I mean, they're all yeah. tacticians, but, like, Gilliman more so. Um, you get a <laughs> I thought lion. you were going to say he's the major taxtician, and I was like, ah, funny, because uh, taxes, ha <laughs> ha, memes. Uh, right, right now, especially. Oh, thankfully, I already got my taxes done, and oh, good, good, good. Oh, I um, hate it. I hate it. Oh, yeah, it's the worst. It sucks. Um, but, uh, for example, other stuff that we, we have, like, um, or uh, Vulcan stuff. Go, oh, Sorry, let me roll back. Tactician Gilliman. Um, the lion is like duelist, just one-on-one -on -one stabby man. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Khan is speed. Uh, if Dorn, we're probably thinking like firepower or, or firepower or like defense in ways. Yeah, um, definitely firepower, defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, poster would be, uh, did I say poster? Yes, you did. 
Oh my goodness. Maybe you were thinking I, like the poster child of the emperor would be. I, I was thinking that like like the the poster boy of like big thick tanky is is uh <laughs> is Vulcan. Yeah, definitely. I was doing the 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 Coca-Cola thing where like I said the word poster and then chat's like, "Man, I should buy a poster." You should at orchid8.com. <laughs> Cerveza, <laughs> Cerveza Crystal. I don't get it. You know the Cerveza Crystal meme? Uh-uh. Shy, can you play the Cerveza Crystal meme? That's all I need. Thank you. Uh, okay, I guess I guess I have a reason to rewatch the episode now. You haven't you haven't seen like the Star Wars cut where they like put the the Cerveza Crystal <gasps> oh, ads inside oh, oh, of it? Oh, oh, right. Okay, the, where where they they cut the beer in without going to commercial. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, your yeah. father wanted you to have this when you were old enough. Service, yeah, yes. Yeah. Okay, now we're on the same page. Gotcha. Hell yeah. But uh, but you know, Vulcan would crack into a Cerveza crystal and would specifically be like big tanky boy. So a piece of armor does make sense, and forging a piece of armor does definitely. Yeah. I don't know about the con though. Yeah, I mean, he realistically, like, like he should he be on a have, bike. <laughs> Yeah, realistically, he could have almost any of the pieces, though, right? Any of the pieces would kind of sort of fit him. To an extent. I mean, for the most part, the con is just, you know, I mean, he's speed free con. I mean, I guess you could have him on um, on like foot just because like, I don't know, like it's not, but like a bike just seems right. Yeah, you know? definitely. Um, But I can't, I don't know of any like specific weapons I would throw on him. Um, the, I mean, he emperor, could do a spear, and he could kind of be like, sort of like a jousting motorcyclist. I mean, the Khan does have like, like Corsero Khan, I think, has like a spear, and so they, they do have some stuff like that. Um, there's also the Emperor's Iron Halo, which we never really talk about. Um, oh, you know, though I, I don't, I don't know if Gilliman has that, or if, or if it's just an iron halo they gave him that it's just an iron halo. But mm-hmm. you know, it's like a force field of kinds. Yeah, um, and I would assume Big E's is a little more rough and tough than your average halo. I, you know, the iron halo actually might be a thing you'd stick on Vulcan. That would make. I sense. was going to say if the halo still exists, that would be a good one to give to a Vulcan. Because why not? I don't think the Emperor like made the first ever motorbike. <laughs> you know, Harley Davidson Emperor thing. Like I don't. I don't think we have that. So he was a real hog. You know, he loved his Harleys. So <laughs> cranking you know. that hog. Yep. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I don't. I don't know about that. Like everything else is just like the armor for the most part. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's it's hard to determine because like the Iron Halo's there to give 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 Khan the cape. Have it like flow in the wind. Now, Khan having the cape, that would look good. Khan would look good in a big flowing red cape with the with the with the white and red armor. You know, hey, yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah, white and red armor specifically flowing in the background. Though yeah. I do think it would be pretty stupid to give like what did you get? The Khan's cape. Like, oh <laughs> I got the, the Emperor's cape. cape. The Emperor, what did you yeah. what did you get? I got a shield that's as big as me. It's like, oh. Well, well, Gilman, what did you get? I got a sword that literally kills demons forevermore. It's like, oh, I got, I, I got a, I got, a, I got a blowy cape. I got a big red cape. But then, like I, the cape would do something. It'd be like, of course, yeah. You it, are, you it'd are be like, a, uh, it'd like make him go faster or something, or I don't know. Hey, the red ones go faster. The red ones go faster. You're right. No, wait, wait, hold on. We have we unlocked? Have we unlocked secret knowledge? Of yes! course, the Khan would have the red cape from the Emperor because the red ones go the fastest. We we we've cracked the code. Oh, we got it. We've cracked we, the code. We did we, it. We did it. Can you imagine the end Khan, the episode? Like, it's over. It's the, it's Jover. The Khan the Khan literally has like like aircraft rules for the game. <laughs> Does he really? No, no. Well, he's oh, on okay. the game, but he's not back yet. Oh, that's right. He's not back yet. Why God would he have it. rules? Of God course not. It. Silly me. <laughs> wow, I am on a roll today. <laughs> roll off the Sheesh. bike. Oh, you I am on a reverse roll today. I am rolling back down the hill. Who 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 is who is it in Greek mythology that's rolling the boulder up the hill? I am just rolling it backwards over and over again. Sisyphus. Ah, uh, Sisyphus, right. Yeah, that's me, except I just keep getting rolled over by the boulder. Wait, hold on. I just thought something even more fantastic. What's that? What what if 
Do you remember the Spear of the Hydra? Of course I do. Alpharius' spear, dude. Well, I figured it was Alpharius's and it had something to do with the uh, Alpha Legion, but I don't remember what it does. Oh, he, he actually had like the, the like the alien spear kind of thing. It would like make like an ink blot when it would like slice and shit. It was neat. Oh, it makes an ink blot? That's cool. Yeah, no, his, uh, his, where is it? What was this called? It was the, um, uh, the Saracenata, the pale spear. That's right. It was a Xeno sphere. And it would like flicker in and out of the universe uh, while it, and yeah, it would rip apart things at molecular level, spraying uh, bloodless wounds as where it struck dissolved into oily smoke. So oh, here's what we do. Wow, we, that's so cool. We bring back Omegon on the loyalist side and we give him the Spear of Russ. Oof. Boom. <laughs> Bada bing. <laughs> Bada boom. Realest guy in the room. How you doing? Oh, okay. that would but, uh, be but, that'd be wild. But I can't think of much else that we would be grabbing with with the the emperor's gear. I mean, spear of rust, Lehman rust. That's a shoe in. Mm-hmm. Um, Corvus Corax, most likely the claw makes sense. Makes sense. Would be very dope. Thematically, um, the for emperor's first bolter would be pretty good for Dorn. Though I mm-hmm. do like this fan theory idea of him being a big dreadnought. Kind of cool. Yeah, that would be cool if he just came back as a huge ass gold dreadnought. Yeah. Can you imagine like a Primarch dreadnought? Just like how what that would look like. Oh, can you imagine how chunky that would be? Be a thick boy. Sheesh. Also, a gold dreadnought just in general sounds dope. Basically, it's like a giant battle tank. Yes. Um, Let's go. Then, then there's the con, and then, then there's uh, and then there's um, uh, not wait. Con and uh and Vulcan. And then that's can, a little bit questiony. Can can we go into cursed territory if and it shouldn't happen, if Sanguinius and Ferris Manus come back, what would you give them? So I almost feel like the Iron Halo might be really cool on Ferris. You put the oh, Iron I- Halo that normally goes above the head and then it like <laughs> shines. It shines well, it, it, it like shines golden light down and it like sort of resolves in the shape of a face. Oh, it's like the shadow of a head. Yeah, like the Ooh. shadow of a face, and like gold, the, like golden light reanimating it, kind of vibe. Okay, I was gonna say that the halo would look real good on someone like Sanguinius, but that sounds way cooler. And if Ferris Manus comes back and they do that, I'm okay with it. I, I like it's that's an option, uh, Sanguinius. I got nothing, man. I got he can, nothing. He, technically, he's another one that like he could have anything. Don't put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. I don't. I don't <laughs> want. You know. You know what? We'll use the emperor's cape to lay over his face, like they lay over a dead body in the street. <laughs> oh, yeah. He doesn't come back, but we can just lay the cape over his casket. And uh, yeah, yeah, look, he got the emperor's cape over his casket because he's not coming back because he shouldn't. Oh, I love that halo idea, though. And making just like the outline of a of of just like a sort of looks like Ferris Manus's head or his skull just in like gold light. Oh, I I really like that. I really I, really I, like that. That's there's some, there's some vibes. That is a vibe. I like it. I like it. So is I that mean, it? Are we? I are mean, we? I, I can't think of any other gear the emperor might bring about. I mean, there, there's always talks of like the emperor making some item randomly in a Horus Heresy book, or the the emperor's crafted X or Y. But so far, we've been using pieces of the emperor's armor, his tilt shield, and his sword. Mm-hmm. So past that, you know, unless they want to go a little bit, I mean, I guess I guess the spear is not really necessarily like things that he, he used, but it's still so clearly something Russ's. he made. Yeah, yeah, it's so clearly Russ's thing. So I don't know some some interesting options out there. Some questions. And e- even if it doesn't fit, it's GW. They could just retcon something and be like, "Oh yeah, under uh, under the Golden Throne, there's this uh, there's this other weapon that we never told you about, but he totally made it and used it, and you know whatever." And they could literally just make something. That fits the Primark perfectly and just be like, yeah, we just he, he stashed it away with the doomsday devices because it's just so good. It's funny. This is rather funny, though, because at this any point, yeah, like the emperor is so secretive. You can make whatever the hell you want. Yeah, he just he just stashed it. You know, whatever. Only 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 a couple people know about it. And hey, look, here it is. Look, we wrote a book about it, too. 
All right. I mean, that's all I got. For the most Sweet. part, that's where, that's where we're at. That's the kind of that, that's the little bit of the theory crafting, the questions, the possibilities. Okay. See, okay. see, Will can maybe come back because the emperor's got some wild, wacky doodle stuff. He does. Well, he's the emperor. He should. He's the he emperor. Should have but some crazy stuff. Yeah. I, I, I think out of anything that happened this entire episode, the one thing that we should really stick on is, oh my god, if the emperor's tilt shield is that size, and, and <laughs> he was massive. <laughs> the, 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 we we need we need X Y Z dragon Yu Gi Oh formation of Primarchs <laughs> to reach the the level of of yeah. the emperor. Because mm-hmm. oh you my need a Voltron god. together the the Primarchs. Also, who gets the emperor's hard drive? That's the question. Oh oh dear. It's it hasn't been wiped. It's the under Indian- there with all the doomsday stuff. It hasn't been wiped. What's on his hard drive? We'll get. We'll give it to. We'll give it to. To. Um, uh, we'll give it to Lionel Johnson. He's the secretive type. Ah, fair enough. Fair enough. Yep. All Destroy right. My hard drive, Horus. It's the thanks least for, you can do for me. To, thanks for listening, everybody. Make sure you wipe your search history. <laughs>